guys, Zach here from Kubota Lynchburg. Today we're going to do a video on box blade versus grading scraper. It's a very commonly asked question because as a dealership we do sell both. We sell the box blades, we sell the grading scrapers. Each has a very similar set of purposes, um, but also, you know, each one has its pros and cons. So we're going to go over that today. I'm actually out here at some property. Um, we've got a gravel driveway that um, there's some rough spots on it. You can see somebody recently put some gravel and stone down. There's still a lot of potholes. You can see, honestly, uh, in the different sections that there's a lot of dirt covering the gravel and the stone here. So we're going to try to resurface that and try to get it, you know, a little bit level, a little bit better looking. Um, and a little bit nicer so when it rains you're not driving through a mud hole every single time. So we're going to start off with using the box blade. Um, a box blade is basically a box with blades on it. Wow, that's uh, so sophisticated. Anyway, a box blade has this big back wall to it. And what that does is as you're dragging this stone, this gravel, it allows it to catch that material like a bucket and bring it with you. That is the biggest pro to a box blade is going to be the ability to take material from one section and kind of move it to another um, without having to use your front end bucket or anything like that and dropping that in uneven areas as you're going. Now box blades and grading scrapers will come with these adjustable front ripper shanks, these scarifiers. Um, you can adjust those up or down you can drop them a couple inches below level of the box blade you can raise them up you can toss them off to the side if you don't want to use them um, but it's nice for taking up those really uneven areas for example when we pulled into this driveway there's a giant pothole up there that would be where i'd probably want to use some of the ripper ripper shanks for to kind of um, dig down deep get some of that really packed material up loosened and then push the, the gravel back down but the main pros to a box blade, again, is the ability to bring material with it. So as you're driving over this level ground and you hit that dip, that divot, that pothole, it's going to drop the material that's caught in the back of the blade and let it sit in that pothole where a grading scraper just resurfaces the top. Now, a box blade is much more difficult and it takes a lot more learning to use it properly to get that fine level. Or once you're done with this pass, oh man, now I've got a whole bucket load of rock at the end of my pass. What do I do now? i got to back drag and figure it out. Your grading scraper is called the dummies box blade for a reason very easy to use you really can't mess it up you can't go wrong and it's the perfect thing for leveling server so we'll talk more about the grading scraper when we get to that one but basically for right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and probably drop these ripper shanks down one more for the first pass i'm going to show you guys that um, you know you can dig up that top surface most of the time you probably won't use these ripper shanks and we probably won't on the grading scraper because it's resurfacing um, but it's going to have that and it's going to bring up that level so it's very easy to adjust Maybe Leah will uh, speed this section up as we go through. These are a nicer system. We're going to adjust these one by one, piece by piece as we go across. Nate, if you want to hop in and help, you can. Feel free. So those are dropped down a little bit. There's another system which actually has a pin or actually a clip that you kind of use a pair of pliers to squeeze and then you can just, I don't like it. It's on our cheaper versions. It's more cost effective, but this is a lot. As you can see, we got it knocked out real quick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop these, we're gonna drag. Now a box blade, because you're bringing all this heavy material with you, does require more horsepower. Now this is Land Pride's BB1572. This is a six footer. It's their heavier duty series, one of their heavier duty series. But this is a 33 horsepower tractor, should handle it. If you had an L2501, a 25 horsepower, or a smaller tractor, you'd be pushing its limits. And honestly, we might even push its limits today with this because of how much material dragging and how heavy the box blade is. A grading scraper, when it's not bringing that material with it, does not require as much horsepower. A six foot grading scraper, I'll throw behind a 25 horsepower tractor all day long without blinking because it doesn't require much power. So remember that when you're looking at one versus the other. So we're gonna hop on. We're going to go ahead and start it up, and we're just going to start doing a couple passes. Um, we're going to kind of see what it looks like after we've done a couple passes on it. Don't judge me, I'm not wearing my seatbelt for this one because I'm just doing a driveway. We're 
going to have to tilt it because the ripper shanks aren't touching the ground first. So I'm going to have to adjust my top link. Requires some adjustment to it. Grading scraper, no real adjustments. Again, the dummy box blade. I'm going to put it in low range. Might even have to put it in four wheel drive. We'll see. We'll try it though. One of the nicer things about a box blade is you do have a rear blade on the back of your box blade. So let's say I didn't like the way this finished up, I could actually drop it back down, use the rear section, and push it back. I could smooth this section on out with that rear blade if I didn't like it. Or if I was trying to get into a really, really tight area next to a house or something, you can get within a couple inches of that house, which is nice. For a grading scraper, you don't have that ability. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna bring up our ripper shanks. We're gonna show you what it looks like without the ripper shanks. So you can see it started digging in and catching these bigger rocks, ripping up a little bit. And honestly, it's pretty frozen ground out here. It's uh, right around freezing point today. Not the best time to be doing it, but I had the equipment today. Um, so it's, it's breaking up that surface, which is great. That's what those ripper shanks are designed for. It's gonna break up that surface and make the next couple passes a lot easier. And with a box blade or grading scraper, you often have to do multiple passes for it. Um, so next we're going to bring those up and then you'll see we'll probably actually gather more material as we go with the next section. You see how much material this is bringing in already? It's filling up the entire box blade. So this is one of the reasons a box blade is both good and bad. If I had a lot of extra material at that section, it'd be great. I could bring it forward. Those ripper shanks were keeping it off the ground. But now you can see I'm actually digging out this section. That's a lot of material that when I reach the end of this row, I don't know what I'm going to do with. That's the issue. So then you're going to have to push it back. You're going to scoop it up with your bucket. You're going to have to do all this extra. So. I'm going to keep on going. It's going to overflow the top and the sides and everything. And it will probably bring the grading scraper over to fix it. But this will show you guys why the box blade is both useful. If you have a, dra a driveway that looks like this and all your gravel washes to the bottom, you can pull it back up the driveway. Low range. There we go.
All right, guys, so you can already see how much better that drivel, driveway looks right there. You actually have gravel on the surface. It's smooth and leveled out. In my opinion, that's a lot better than it was. But as you can see, as I was dragging, now I have a very thick area of gravel um, that maybe I didn't want to take it from one spot to another. So let's switch to a grading scraper and see what the section looks like after I use that. All right, so next we're going to go with the grading scraper. Don't shoot me. I am using a Titan Implement one. Also now it's Ironcraft. Um, it is a much more inexpensive brand, which is why I'm putting it in my rental fleet. Not quite the same quality. For example, I just found out by flipping my scare fires up, the center one is directly under the center beam and you can't keep it in there. So it's now on the floorboard of the tractor scratching on my floorboard, but is what it is. Um, but on this one, you can see there is no back box to it. It is these two center blade sections. Now, some of these you can get with reverse ones, kind of like the box where you can back up with it, but in grading scrapers 99.9% .9 of the time forward dragging anyway. So you've got your blades here. The first one, what that's going to do is it's going to take out all your uneven areas. It's going to basically rip up those extra humps, those little hills, and break up the uneven areas. The back one is designed to kind of sift it out and level everything and just let it kind of ride over. Or that box blade called all the material and dragged it. This back blade is there to simply just to disperse the material and fill in the uneven areas. So we're going to take it over the sections that we just did, see what it does with that. Then I'm going to take it on a fresh section as well and see what it does. Again, without the scarifiers, it's just the weight of the implement pushing down. There's a chance, I mean, this is another six footer, so there's a chance, you know, you'd have to actually put some extra weight on top of it. But realistically, at that point, you want to rip it up with your river shanks anyway. One last point I wanted to make as far as grading scrapers go. Um, for example, you can see we, people would just put fresh rock down on here. That's expensive. Rock gravel is not cheap. Um, if you have to do that every year and you're just putting over on top, on top, on top, Grading scraper, from what I've learned, on average, you can get about four or five years out of one load of gravel because you're continually resurfacing. As long as it's not washing away into a creek or something, if it's still sitting here, you can bring it back up to the surface. And you can think about it. This one has a price tag of $1,900 on it right now. Um, over four or five years of continual loads of dirt, uh, continual loads of gravel and stone, you could save yourself a lot of money by just resurfacing it every couple of months or a couple of times a year. So we're going to hop on here and see what it looks like. check this out. I don't have that big pile of dirt I have to disperse right now. I can literally just pick up drive and go and there won't be an issue to it. That's the nice thing about a grading scraper. And we're going to just basically, if you want to come up here with me, if you just want to stand about a foot in front of the bucket and look at that section right in front of that gravel where it is dirt, just flat dirt, I'm going to drive over that one pass. We're going to go from dirt on the top to gravel on the top. One pass. If I do one more on the way back, on 
I do an eight point turn here. You can see why I mentioned a couple of times it might take two or three passes, especially because this road is very old. It's very packed out. But already you can see the gravel that wasn't there before is now at the top. All right, guys, so that's it. Box blade versus grading scraper. The uh, box blade versus the dummy box blade. Um, if all you're doing is gravel driveway and resurfacing and leveling an area, I highly recommend you check out the grading scrapers, also known as the land planes. Mention that while I'm at it. Um, but recommend checking those out. That overall general utility thing, if you're clearing a section, you're clearing woods, you're filling in potholes, you're doing all sorts of stuff, a box blade is a more versatile tool. Uh, but again, that's your land plane versus your box blade. Gravel driveways, grab that land plane, save yourself a lot of time and money in the long run, because I'm loving these things.